Jaya ha. Jaya ha. <laughs> Jaya lua. Jaya lua. Mm. Okay. Shiva, how are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> We're in freaking Bali, eh? <laughs> When I say hey, it makes me feel like I talk like an Australian man. <laughs> how you doing, eh? <laughs> Yeah, no, we, you see, we've got our studio set up here. This you made a special background. effort today for this video. Yeah, exactly. To um, harmonize. Frame, yeah. Yeah. Got some questions? Yes, Shiva. How do you... I know that you really invoke energies. I invoke energies, yeah. Yeah. You are an en energy ninja. Energy ninja, <laughs> energy master. <laughs> so, how do you invoke them? How do you invoke energies? Yeah. How do you invoke specific energy into your life? <coughs> well, the first thing to understand is that energies are in and around us all the time. So, we are communicating and actively building up energies in our system, in our field, um, all the time, no matter what we do. And so, The, the trick the trick is to understand that we are manipulating energies. You know, for instance, if I'm standing just like this, or if I go like this, or if I go like this, or if I go like, hmm, or if I smile, you know, it's all going to be manipulating energies. It's going to be altering my electromagnetic field in and around me. It's going to have an impact on other people straight away. So... My actions, my thoughts, my beliefs, my emotions, my feelings, everything is having an impact uh, on my environment and on my inner environment. And so what we have to understand is instead of doing all these things, you know, passively with lack of awareness, it's starting to become much more conscious about what we do and the impact that we have. Instead of just being like, okay, well, Let's have a coffee, let's read the paper, let's turn on the TV, let's go to work, spend time in the subway and have a, you know, just chit chat with people. You go like, okay, what's the impact of these actions? Realize that when uh, you say something or you don't say something or you breathe or you eat what you eat, every single action that you take throughout the day is going to have an impact on your field. And so certain actions are going to be extremely powerful. Like for instance, if you wake up in the morning and you just go like this, you know, and you go like, and you start an inner prayer, an inner invocation. It's like, it's really powerful because it's like a moment of presence and a moment of intention. And the intention might be, I commit myself to be at my highest frequency today. I commit myself to be in, the servi in service to the planet and mankind. I commit myself to be a positive agent and a positive force for the people I meet. Imagine how powerful this is, this simple action. It can radically change and shift the impact of your day. The moment you do this, you enter into a certain frequency, which is an invocation. It is a conscious communication, a conscious relationship that you establish with the invisible, what you say. This is a prayer, right? What are you praying for? Or who are you communicating with when you do that? You're communicating maybe with yourself, or maybe with some god or goddess, with the invisible, with the universe, but basically what you're saying is like, I'm establishing a relationship. And so that's very different than just waking up in the morning and going for a walk and being like, you know, passive, unaware of what you're doing. And, you know, what I'm giving you here is just an example. It doesn't mean that you have to take that specific action. You can decide for yourself. But what is important, what's really important, is to bring awareness, consciousness. This is why we meditate. This is why we slow down. This is why we enter into these states of of trance and energy and presence because we want to become conscious and more aware human beings. 
because the moment you are more aware, the moment you are awake, what you, what you start seeing is like the cause and effect. You see your action and then you see the consequence, you see the impact. And you can, you know, you can be in a state where you go like, wow, you know, whatever I do is not going to change anything. And it's not true at all. The food that you eat is going to impact on your health. And you can be like, yeah, my system has been trained to digest whatever and uh, food is not really impacting on me. And that's not true at all. It's impacting your field. Your thoughts, your emotions, your beliefs, the action that you take, the, th the, the, the words that you say to the people around you, the choice that you make throughout the day, all that is going to have a massive impact. It's going to create the reality that you live in. Okay? So you have circumstances that are given to you by birth, you know, a certain country that you were, live, that you were born in. Then there is your body, the way you look like, um, your family, uh, context, these kind of things. There are certain things which are more or less fixed, right? Those are environmental circumstances. But then there is everything that you do within that context. You can be in the middle of the desert and be completely miserable or be completely happy. That's really up to you. And so the idea that you are precisely an energy ninja, that you are an energy master, this is the whole point. You know, my system, Vital Tantra, this is what I teach. Tantra, Vital Tantra, is a path of life mastery, a path of energetic mastery. That's the goal, that's the purpose. Once you understand that, then you go like, okay, what are the practices? How can I engage into a way of mastering my energy? Then you start looking for things. You start looking for disciplines. You start looking for uh, pathways to bring you to a higher degree of mastery or optimization of your life and your energy. But the first thing is like this realization. Wow, I am a, a dynamic creator of my energy. I am a dynamic um, designer of my life and what my life is going to look like. You know, that's the idea. That's, this is the idea of energetic or life mastery. Thank you.